Thank you for joining us again, and tonight we're gonna have a blast from the past. Do you remember Taco Bell's Chilito? Later named the Chili Cheese Burrito. Recently they brought it back by popular man, and then immediately took, took it, it back. Yes, so we're like, Fuck you Taco Bell, we don't need you anymore. We're gonna learn how to make it ourselves. There's a lot of conflicting reports on people's opinion on how this is made. We do know how this tastes, so we're gonna go from there. First step, oh shit. brown your meat. If we were cooking on our own time and for our own meals, that shit got hot real fast. We would do lean, but I'm pretty sure Taco Bell does not do lean meat. But we want this to taste right. And we want you to taste it right when you make it based on what we said. So 80-20 is what we're guessing in tube form. It's <laughs> so bad. Like magic, we had the wrong pan. A six ounce can of tomato paste. Then we add two and a quarter cups of water. And then it says to stir until smooth. Okay, we have a half teaspoon of cayenne, a quarter cup of chili powder. We thought that was a bit much, so we put a little bit less. And then two teaspoons of salt. You gotta put two teaspoons of cornstarch, which I'll admittedly say I've never used before. So as with every recipe we've done to this point, we actually look at a bunch of them and kind of go with what we think is right because, well, we're the ones doing it. Some said throw it right in there. Some said make sure you dissolve it in water first. I think that's probably right. Go ahead and dissolve it into water. Holy shit, that thickens up fast. Okay. Just like mom used to make. Go ahead and put your uh, funky milk stuff in here. If you recall a chili cheese burrito or a chilito, it wasn't soupy. Not like that. Two teaspoons. Uh, or four half teaspoons if that's all you got. Hmm. Gotta say, I gotta quit saying okay and now. I said that a lot, apparently. Two teaspoons of of vinegar, which has been a very popular ingredient in everything we've made so far. I just dipped my sideburns in there. For extra flavor. Are you still recording? Yes. Little Miss One Cut, she's like trying to be like Birdman. She's like, we can do this in one shot. No cuts. One tablespoon of chopped dried onions what they said. We don't remember there being onions in there, but we had to do a general consensus and every single one said onion. I've, ne I've never used dried, I've never used dried onions before. It's gonna like be French onion soup mix. Yeah, I guess that is. Mm. That's true. Look at you making points. This to me is, is one of the two most controversial, controversial, We'll get to the, the, the most controversial uh, in a bit. Uh, jalapeno pa jalapeno pickled jalapeno slices. A lot of people, the ones that had the highest reviews, the ones that said that it definitely tastes like it the most, they did have this. So, so now, uh, what was the other one? The entire can of beans, which is our most controversial ingredient, because a lot of people go, wait a minute. A chili cheese burrito is not a chili cheese bean burrito. I don't know which is right. I don't remember. In my head, I would have thought it was just meat. But there was a lot of texture to it. They had beans in it. So we're gonna trust them. And if they're wrong, we're coming for you, man. I'm just putting that out there. We're gonna... <laughs> By the way, tonight, instead of a beer, um, I am having a whiskey and Coke because 
What's the fucking tell you? Okay, so this guy said, make sure you have a full can of beans. Be very careful, use half. Put half in, and then. Nothing. There is no and then, there was no rest of it. It was just, what you wanna do is you mix it in. You mix half of it in. And then this is fucking the end. As we did with the donut recipe, we're ultimately gonna go with what we think is right. There are no beans in a chili cheese burrito. I'm just gonna put in less, less than half a can to begin with. And I'm gonna stir it in and melt it down. My opinion, having put the beans in, because I can see the textures looking way more like it. So you see this? That actually looks a lot more like a Cholito than without. No, he worded it stupid too. The recipe he, calls he's just, for a can of beans. He's yeah. like a baseball coach who's just like, Coach, what do you want me to do? Do well! Get some hits! Thanks, coach. Didn't think of that. So don't go, go, go listen to us. We know. Coach, I'm going to leave you to He calls for two pounds of cheese and tells you to put it in half of the two pounds of cheese. And then doesn't tell you what to do with the rest That's of the insane. half. That's insane! doesn't make any fucking sense. No, no, that's too much cheese! No, but the thing is, it calls for two pounds of cheese and then tells you to use half. What you gotta do is buy two pounds of cheese and only use half. Oh, you mean one pound of cheese then? How much do you weigh? I weigh 300 minus 100 pounds. <laughs> well, we got some time to kill. 17 minutes. I'm gonna drink and I don't know, she wants to tell me a joke, so go ahead. <laughs> Kill some time by telling a joke. I got one. Okay. Two guys walk into a bar and they meet a girl. That's funny. We go. It's funny. Do you want to get drunk? Do you have seven dollars? As a proper chef should do. We taste our food as we go along. It wasn't right. Our opinions and our expertise palate opinions. Needs the red sauce. Taco and Bell red sauce. So here's what we did. This is what we have at home. Texas Pete. So if you have Taco Bell sauce instead of this, I think you nailed it. In the shells for a minute. <gasps> Scared me. Lights are falling. Shit's just crashing. Nothing's Gross. working tonight. It's Cats are going at it, man. That's Jesus. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. A fucking Royal Rumble out there. The two cats are like, we can do that in here. It's not spot on. No, it's not. And we even like modified it. We modified the hell of this to because it was not right. This is closer than it was. So if you follow us, you're gonna be closer than they were. Um, no jalapeno. No. Right. Out of 100%, how close would you say this is? Um, I'd say about 90. I'd say it might be 93. There's something missing. What what it does and have? I think it's the, it's the red sauce. It's as close to a Cholito, I think, uh, definitely that I've ever had. I promise you though, if you make it word for word what we said, it's closer than they did and it's really good. But it's if you're good. craving that exact, it's not 100%. I say make it. I, it's make really it. Good. Yeah, it's really good. It's worth making. It really is. It is. Tweaking it yourself. Yeah. Do you see something? Did you change one little thing that we did? You thought, yes, this changed that for the better. Please let us know because we would love to do it again. Enjoy your 95% Cholito. I got baby cat it. So it's getting hot in this kitchen like it does every damn week. So thank you for sticking with us. Please come back next time. And we will be cooking something else. Like, favorite, subscribe, so we know you love us and you love the food. Until then, she can never remember what my, my little tagline is. You gotta eat. Okay. <laughs>